Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about my off-duty bags. So the bags I know that I'm not gonna be using for some amount of time. For me, in the summer, I can basically put my work bags away. Maybe I'll take a few pictures with them here or there, but I'm not actually using them. This fall, I also am not sure if I'm gonna be teaching in person. I didn't sign up for fall classes because I thought I was gonna be having a baby, which is not happening, and so, um, I only have an online class right now. Maybe something will come up, but I don't know. So there's a possibility that these bags are not gonna be used for more than six months. So I wanted to talk to you about what do you do with your bags during that time? How do you put them away so that they will be best taken care of and are as fresh as possible when you're ready to use them at a later date? So I'm gonna to talk to you about the way I store my bags and also the way that I clean them. I also like to do this in general, kind of at the end of the semester, just a little spruce up. Um, so I thought I'd take you with me for that. I was also given um, the custom storage pieces that I wanna show you for my Prada bag from the original club and I'm gonna leave all of their details down below. Thank you so much for sending these to me. So let's go ahead and get started. The first talk through storage. I like to keep my bags stuffed and I generally like to keep their um, straps inside of them so the straps aren't kind of hanging out. I, when I'm using my bags, I'm, I'm lazy about putting the straps back in, but when I know I'm not gonna be using them for a while, I like to do that. I also like to make sure that the handles are either standing upright or are kind of protected so they're not like falling down and digging into the bag or getting creased, that sort of thing. So for this bag, you know, I like to turn the handles like that so that it stays. This one, I like to make sure the handles are down. They're designed to be stored that way. So that's the way I like to do it. With this bag, I actually don't tend to leave the handles out, but I do tend to store it generally with it um, unzipped. And that's not as great for it because it can kind of get off kilter. So I will make sure that I zip this one up. And then I like to keep the handles there and the strap. I just kind of leave off to the side like that. This bag is an example of how I have typically done my bags in the past. So I usually store with some kind of a handbag organizer. Now, I did not buy this organizer for this bag and it is um, it fits in it, but it doesn't actually, I have to take it out to be able to put all my stuff in it for work. So it's not ideal, but I, you may be able to say I have like stuffing stuffed in on the sides and I have it stuffed in on the front just to help keep its shape. So that's what I do. And then sometimes I stuff the middle though. This handbag organizer is pretty stiff and it takes over most of the bag. So I don't need to do that, but I will zip it up. And then with this one, I'm not as worried about putting the strap inside. So I can just kind of lay it over the top or lay it over the front. It's not really gonna affect it too much. So now let's talk about my Prada bag. So um, I'm gonna show you a picture of what used to be in the bag. So I kept the stuffing that was sent to me for this bag and it was just crumpled up like packaging material. And while that worked fine for stuffing it, it let it breathe, it wasn't like overly stuffed, that sort of thing. What wasn't great about it was that I had to take those out individually every time I wanted to use it. And then I would just kind of put them in the place where the bag is and they would fall down and they would be a mess. And then I would try to take my outfit pictures and there would be like this giant mess behind me. So it really was not an ideal situation. So when the original club reached out, I was like, yes, I am interested because what I have in here now is a custom pillow. So it's soft, it's cozy. I purposely got one that was extra stuffed because I tend to store this bag without it being snapped on the side, but I would get something that was a little less stuffed if I wanted to snap it. I can technically snap it now, but it would, you know, kind of mess up the bag. So I don't, I don't choose to do that. And the other thing that they sent me was a base shaper. So I'll show you what I had been using in the past. So this was my previous base shaper for this bag. It's a piece of cardboard where I put a little piece of tape on here, to keep the edge nice. <laughs> It was fine. You can see it didn't take over the whole inside, but it did stop the bag from sagging when I put stuff in it, which was which was the point. Now you can see the bottom of the bag and it looks so nice. And you know why? Because this shaper is clear acrylic. So 
So you can see the original club's little symbol down there. And it's, you know, it was custom made for this bag. So it's, they make them slightly smaller than the actual base so you can get them inside. But now I can see the bottom of the bag. It looks nice. It's significantly sturdier, so it should do a better job than the cardboard should do. Cardboard is okay, but this is a better solution. So I was excited about that. And then here's what the pillow looks like. So again, that was also custom made for this bag, for the sizing. And it's great. And this is so easy to just take out. It looks nice. I can just throw it up there when I want to use the bag and then stuff it back in. So I was really excited about that. And thank you so much to them for sending it to me. I will leave their details down below. One of the things that's really nice about them is that customized feature because I don't tend to buy like the most popular bags. And a lot of times the, the companies that make base shapers and that sort of thing, they, they have a stock set of bags and it's a ton of bags, but I buy bags off the beaten path. So a lot of times it doesn't quite work. This is an odd size for this Prada bag. It, most people get it in a medium. The large has only come out, you know, it comes out every once in a while, but it's not, it's not even out right now. Like this current season doesn't have the large version. And so it's a harder size to get. So it's nice to get that. Um, also, I chose not to get an organizer because I do know that I use every inch of that bag when I carry stuff in it. And I, it's organized enough. Like I know that the way I keep my stuff in there, I don't need the organizer, but that would certainly work instead of a pillow if you so chose. Let me give you an example of a small bag that I don't use that often because it's an evening bag and how I store it. This is my Mulberry Darley. Um, I tend to only use this again for evenings. I have the original stuffing in here. So this is the chain and I just kind of wrap the chain up in here. I sometimes would just leave the chain inside, but for whatever reason I had an extra piece of tissue paper and I just did that. But this is like their little stuffing that they gave me originally. And it's basically like a little pillow. It's like soft paper inside and then, and that just like stuffs right in perfectly for the bag. And then I put the chain on top. The reason, sorry, I'm crinkling, I know. The reason that I don't keep the chain out for this one, unlike some of those others, is the other ones are leather chains. This is a chain link chain, a gold chain. And so it comes out of the top here and then it lays over the top. If you don't, even if you just like pull it through and let it sit inside the bag, it, you wind up getting an indent across the top because of the hardware against the leather. So I like to take it out, which is sort of an annoying process. And again, it's not something I would do if I'm using the bag often, but when I am storing it for out of season, out off duty, then that's the way I like to do it. So now let's talk about cleaning. I need to actually sit down and go through the process of this, which I haven't done yet. Maybe this video will motivate me. But this is how I clean my bags. And I do like to do this at least once a semester, you know, every couple months, the ones that get a lot of heavy use. So this is the apple leather conditioner and just a soft microfiber cloth. And then this is a suede brush. So for my shoes, I like to very lightly go over. It's actually not a suede brush. It's like a dry brush brush. I find that the suede ones, sometimes the bristles are too stiff. Um, but yeah, some kind of, kind of stiffer brush. And I like to very lightly go over my suede shoes. When you have like a mud spot on them, you know, you go a little bit harder, but for just general cleaning, I like to go pretty light. And then um, this goes on all of my leather bags, of my bags, my shoes, and just kind of gives them a nice shine. Let me figure out which one's the dirtiest and I'll show you. Okay, not that it's necessarily dirty, but there's a little bit of dust. May or may not be able to see on the top of this bag. So I thought this would be a good one to show you. So I just put a little bit on and sometimes I do the corners in each one, but this, I just, I didn't really this time. I'm going to fold it over. So it's a little bit more in the corner. I don't want to have too, too much showing at once. And then I just take it and rub it in there, go around the hardware. Uh, then I, I like to also, I don't want to get the hardware. I don't want it to get stuff on it. So I'll kind of take the drier part of the cloth against it there and then rub that all in. And you can see it darkens the bag for a moment, but it doesn't stay dark. It's just, just a quick little clean. So 
I do like to go over all my bags like this. I'm gonna try this and let's see if it works. So I need to get a little bit more on here and then what I wanna show you is um, Louis Vuitton Epi Leather gets these little like white spots. Can you see that in the corner there? And a lot of the time you need sometimes a little bit of a generous amount of this, but most of the time cleaning it with this kind of cloth, yeah, takes them right out. So that's something I like to do just kind of generally on here. Okay. So these Sarah Flint Perfect Pumps in the Navy, I wear them pretty often. You can see they need to be cleaned. So a lot of people will choose to store their bags and their shoes in their desk bags or behind like cabinet doors. Cabinet doors are okay because they're not like totally airtight and some boxes are better than others, but um, it de like dust bags are better than boxes, but it's good to let your things breathe. I mean, you do have to deal with a little bit of dust, but I mean, <laughs> like how quickly that just came out, you know? It's not, it's not hard. It's not hard to clean them. Um, so it's, you know, a mixture of box time and, and not. If you do keep them in a dust bag, do make sure to just take them out, give them a clean, let them air out for a little while. Um, so they're not just sitting there. So that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know and let me know what you clean your bags with down below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in a future video.